Hi everyone, welcome back. As you most likely already know, I'm Patriot Astro or Chad. During my recent hiatus, lots of emails and messages came in. I'm still working through all of that backlog, but I did notice that there were some common trends and topics that people consistently asked about. As a result, I'm working on consolidating a topic list for upcoming videos. Plus, I'm adding in some of my own items, like sharing some new updated advanced sequence templates for Nina, just to name one. If you have an idea, send it over. It's never too late and great ideas do get to cut the line. One consistent topic I received was about some newer mini PC models and trends. So since my filming equipment was still out from shooting the last couple videos, and I'm still getting rain here most often, stick around and we'll jump in. Today will be a quicker video. No 30 minute lectures for you this time. As you know from watching my mini PC series where I covered computer hardware components and end-to-end -end configuration for astrophotography-based telescope control, I've been using my Melee Quieter 3 mini PCs for quite a while now. And even prior to that, I used the Melee Quieter 2 version. I'll put links in the video description for everything discussed. These of course will be Amazon affiliate links, which I may see some very small compensation for if you click through at no additional cost to you. And no, I'm not paid by Melee or any other mini PC companies. So after all this time, I still have no issues with my mini PC systems. They're running fine. I'll give you a quick Melee model update in a little bit, but first another mini PC caught my eye enough that I've been testing it recently. This one's from a manufacturer I wasn't familiar with, Morphine. The specific model I'm testing is the Morphine M6 6000. This is an interesting little box. It's similarly sized to the Quieter 3Q, but about an inch longer. It's still somehow a few grams lighter. You can get it with either a 256 or 512 gig NVMe SSD already installed. So file read and write drive performance isn't an issue out of the box. You can also get it with 16 gig of RAM, and it comes standard with the newer N6000 Intel processor which under most conditions, bench tests out to be around 30% improved over the typical N5105 processor we've been using in the Melee Quieter 3. An upgraded processor and 16 gig of RAM means you can expect a performance improvement. For those of you live stacking or doing EAA, this could be a good cost-effective system or upgrade for you. And in case that isn't enough positives for you, this unit uses active cooling. Yep, a fan. So for those of you worried about temperatures of the passively cooled mini PCs out there, this may be a good fit for you. I know some of us have even resorted to putting a heat sink on the passively cooled devices to keep the temperatures down, but that occasionally came at the cost of fairly degraded Wi-Fi signal and range. Since this unit's actively cooled and automatically adjusts fan speeds based on the temperature of the CPUs as defined in the BIOS, that may not be a problem anymore. My M6 6000 is running great so far. I have tested it using the previous test methodologies I shared in earlier videos. It is happily running under 80 degrees Celsius under stress. Drive performance is as expected for the NVMe drive. And a sharp cap based frames per second live view test with one millisecond captures is coming in at 100 frames per second at mono 8 and 65 frames per second at mono 16 with less than 1% frame drop for my ZWO ASI 174mm at its full 1936 by 1216 resolution. Oh, and then there's the cost. And I'm not sure how they're doing this today, but the M6 6000 is currently only about 165 US dollars after the coupons applied at Amazon right now. You can even add the three year support plan to this for under 30 US dollars, and you don't have to worry about it failing for three years without recouping your money. There is one potential downside to this system though. It only has three USB 3.1 ports. For me, that isn't an issue because I need more than four USB ports anyway, and a USB hub at this point is a requirement for me, but just FYI. All in all, this is a very nice box, and at the price point, I'm obviously pretty excited. Because of the N6000 processor and 16 gig of RAM in the Morphine unit, I'm strongly leaning that way, but I do want to also give you a heads up on what Melee's up to, especially since they've been a real workhorse for me over the last several years. First, there was another Melee model that came out that you might have missed. And before I get your hopes up, this first one isn't too exciting. But in case you stumble across it online, it's the Quieter HD3 series. 
I'm not sure this is a great fit for us. It's about the same footprint as the Quieter 3, but two times as tall so that it has room for an internal SATA SSD drive. But since we can just use the much thinner NVMe SSDs and the other Quieter models, I just don't care about this type of expandability. And even with the larger volume, this HD3 model is still passively cooled, so no fan. But I did notice that it can be purchased with 16 gig of RAM, and that got me digging back in to see what else was out there from Melee. And you may have missed this too, but a new Melee Quieter 3Q was also released recently with 16 gig of RAM as well. The 16 gig model is currently priced around 230 US dollars after the Amazon coupon is applied on the product page. All of the other specifications are fairly consistent with the previous 3Q version, including the N5105 processor, so we don't need to spend any time there. And before I get hundreds of messages about other products, and please feel free to send me info if you have some good ones, I'm not trying to ignore other common brands like B-Link or any others. I'll add some links in the video description to those as well. I just don't have as much personal experience with them and I'm more comfortable talking about models I have tested myself. But once you understand the component specs, and you can watch this video here if you're not yet versed on this topic, you can look at several vendor system models side by side and be able to compare them for yourself. You'll also notice I'm not pushing this discussion into higher end processors, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't look. If you want to look at Intel i5, i7, i9, AMD family, etc., definitely do that. I'm just trying to keep the price point and power consumption lower for budget and battery conscious buyers out there. I'll definitely support your decision to get a more powerful system though. It's just not what I'm looking for today based on how I use my own telescopes. Oh. And for the ASI Air users out there, you know I use Nina, but I also have an ASI Air and may cover and compare that to Nina soon as well. I think it's a great solution and an even better fit than a mini PC for some people in the hobby. Okay, wrapping up quickly here. If it's not broke, don't fix it. But if you do need a new system or more performance, that more fine or newer Melee models may be a good fit for you. Keep your emails and comments coming. And if I still owe you a response, Maybe give me a few more days, but if you haven't heard back by then, reach out to remind me. I just may have missed it. Oh, and if you use the comments to communicate with me on YouTube, don't put links in your message. Almost 100% of the time, if it isn't a YouTube link you're sharing, your comment will automatically be removed by their spam detection engine. So if you messaged me that way, I likely never saw it. Try my email here instead, which is also available on this channel's about page. Thanks again for watching subscribing, and reaching out. We'll be talking again soon, and in the meantime, here's wishing you some clear skies.